All right, welcome to a quick tutorial on a couple new KVMD widgets. Uh, today I'm gonna cover using the MD checkboxes. Okay, you can see a little demonstration here that looks pretty nice. And also the MD switch um, widget. So both of these are like on off state type widgets, okay? So let's go ahead and get to the code and see how to implement these. Um, as I always do, I just grab my project folder. So in my project, um, I have the KVMD package with all the modules and such, and I've got my main.kv and my main.py file. Okay, so here's my main.py file. All I've done is instantiated my app. Uh, there's no logic in here at the moment. Um, the only thing I've done is imported the theme manager from the kvmd.theming um, package, and I've instantiated the theme manager in my theme underscore CLS variable. Okay, so in the kv code, this is where we will work the magic. Uh, today I just have a box layout and a little bit of padding. So I just have a container pretty much to put my widgets. Um, the first thing we're gonna work with is the MD checkbox. So I'll go ahead and create uh, an MD checkbox and let's just see what it looks like. You can see here, I've got my MD checkbox and we've got this kind of weird thing going on where when I click it, it takes up, uh, or the ripple behavior, is the effect goes to the whole space that the widget's taking up. Um, so that's not really what we wanted. Um, so what we could do is we could change the size hint. So we can make the size hint none, none. So no size hint for the width and no size hint for the height. And then I can put size, so I can actually specify the size. And I'll say maybe uh, DP40, DP40. So now if I run it, you can see now it's down the corner because it's not taking up this whole large area. And when I click it, the ripple behavior is much smaller. Uh, it matches uh, pretty well with the size of the widget now. Okay, so you can change um, the, well, so the ripple behavior goes and it fills out the whole size of the widget. So you can change uh, just the size of the widget to fix that. Okay, so there you go. Uh, changing the size of that. And now we can say active is true. So active basically is whether or not the box is checked. So now if I run my app, uh, it should start checked here and I can uncheck it. All right, and active, uh, you can you can work with the active variable as kind of like a function. So you can say on active, and then whenever this chip, or whenever the checkbox is uh, activated or deactivated, it'll call this on active function. So maybe I'll say print self.active. So now anytime you click it, it should print whether you've uh, turned it on or turned it off. And this will just be a Boolean true or false. So if I go over and run my app again, so it starts on, so if I click, I should print false, because I'm not active. So this is how you would use uh, your checkbox like in an app, anytime they click it, you would say like, put some logic in here to turn off a feature in your app or something. And if I go turn it back on, you can see um, it's true. So you work with this uh, active attribute of your checkbox, okay? So there you go, we've covered the MD checkbox, and now let's go over the MD um, switch. There you have it. And I'll just instantiate that, and we'll see what that looks like uh, by default. Okay, here we are, we've got this nice slider now. Um, the little thumb here is a little bit screwed up. If that happens for you, I'll show you how to fix that, don't worry. And after you start clicking it, the thumb uh, works as you would expect. So this is again, this is the off state, and here we have the on state. So it works just like the uh, MD checkbox. You could change the size and whatever, but I don't really need to. Um, maybe I'll say active is true. So now when I run my app, um, okay, it starts in the true position, but we've still got this kind of screwed up thumb at the start. And I'll do the same thing on active print self.active. So now if I run it again and I start screwing around with it, so if I turn it off, you can see I printed false because the, the MD switch is uh, not active. And if I click it again anywhere, it should go back to printing true. Okay, so now let's fix that visual glitch where uh, when you start it up, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. Um, to do that, we're going to uh, import the clock module. So from kivi.clock, import the clock class. And now uh, def on start. So basically, as soon as my app runs, 
uh, this on start this on start method is called just by default because I've inherited from the Kiwi app class and that's what the app class does. So I'm going to uh, clock dot schedule once and then I'll say um, I need to give my switch an ID actually. So let me give this guy an ID. I'll call it the switch. So I need to reference the switch and sort of update um, how it looks because what happens is the switch is instantiated and it's made before the rest of the interface is kind of uh, finished being made. <clears throat> and so it ends up putting the thumb in the wrong spot, something like that. Okay, it's a little bit complicated. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna reference my um, switch. So self.root.ids. what do I call it, the switch. Okay, so I'm referencing root, which is my box layout here. And I'm getting the IDs from root and I'm referencing the switch. That's why I have root.ids.theswitch. And now I'm going to call this underscore update underscore thumb function. And I'll pass zero. So you don't don't call the function like this, just pass the name. So what I'm doing here is basically that uh, on the next frame after starting the app, I want to call this update thumb function, which basically redraws the thumb. So it'll fix um, where the the thumb is drawn, or sorry, it redraws the, the whole switch. Okay, and then I just wanna call it immediately um, after loading the next frame. So now if I run it, you can see that, boom, my thumb has uh, automatically gone to the right spot. Okay, so if you see that visual glitch, if that's not fixed in KVMD by the time you're watching this video, that's how you take care of it. Um, and that's how you work with the selection controls. Okay, so the checkbox and the, uh, and the MD switch widgets. All right, thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. Thank you.